Hello, Oscillator Sync here. Uh, this is just a short little video, a, a teaser if you like, to wait your appetite for something that I'm going to uh, cover in a bit more detail on the channel uh, quite soon. But I've just been working on this patch this evening, uh, and this patch makes um, extensive use of the mod matrix. And what the mod matrix allows us to do on the DeepMind 6 is we've got these eight slots here, and we can choose a source that is going to modulate a parameter by some uh, amount. So that can be things like sending LFOs to places where you can't usually send LFOs or sending envelopes to places where you can't usually send envelopes or you can have an LFO uh, modulate another LFO or you can have the LFO change the depth of another part of the mod matrix. It can get pretty interesting uh, and you can do some really interesting stuff. In this case, however, as you can see down here on the left hand side, my source for my modulation is the mod wheel across every single element here. And we are sending it to a number of different places. So modifying envelopes, modifying um, frequency cutoffs. Um, we've got the resonance here and, and all sorts of stuff going on here. We are turning down oscillator two on, uh, on this one here, for example. And what that allows you to do essentially is create two separate patches and morph between them using the mod wheel. And it is a very cool trick that you can pull off on the DMI6. And I just wanted to quickly show it uh, off. And we'll talk a bit more about how you might go about this in another video. Um, but that means that you can start with a patch sound like this. turn down the mod wheel and end up with this. And of course you can go anywhere in between as well. which is pretty cool. We'll dig down into that a bit more on the channel soon, but I just wanted to share that patch with you because I've had a really good time building it this evening. Um, uh, see you soon, guys. Peace. Bye.